and state is. So here, a state, under Canon 1269, a state is a fictional concept, first created during the reign of Henry VIII of England, through modifications of statutes concerning wills and uses, whereby an implied testamentary trust, a trust that deceased to state, exists determined by time in accordance with the deed and will that first formed it. Hence, an e-state is the collective assets and liabilities of one or more deceased persons known as a testator, endowed to one or more heirs with certain benefits according to one or more beneficiaries and administered by executors and administrators. So, an estate is really the deceased body corporate. So, Canon 1270, an estate first, uh, cannot first come into existence until the original testators are deceased and the deed and will of the implied testamentary trust becomes effective. Therefore, all estates depend upon the prior existence of a trust or higher estate from which the property is lawfully conveyed. So, and, uh, for example, under um, uh, 1272, and these are differences between testamentary trust and um, living trust. So 1272. The granting of benefits to beneficiaries is at the discretion of the executors, also called executives, in accordance with the terms of the deed and will of the estate. Uh, a beneficiary of an estate may be a person, or if unknown, lost, a minor, it doesn't say it here, incompetent, or abandoned, a particular kind of trust known as a SESTA-K or a SESTA-KV trust, which we're about to cover in a moment. So that's important. One of the differences between a deceased estate and a, 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 a testamentary trust and a living trust is that under a testamentary trust, there can be two types of beneficiaries. Uh, one can be a trust and the other can be a, a, a person. And the type of trust we're calling here is a SESTA KV, a type of trust created under certain presumptions, being unknown, lost, minor, abandoned, or you'll see in a moment, incompetent. 1273, the deed and will of an estate is also known as a constitution. I urge you to go and look at the opening words of the Constitution of the United States and tell me in your own mind if it does not clearly state, very clearly state, uh, a deed and will of a testamentary trust, a deceased e-state, an e-state being a state, United E-States. 1274, the property held in the state is called the trust corpus, body corporate or corporation. Unlike other forms of trust, it is this body or corporation that is recognised as a valid legal entity having legal personality, not the estate itself. This is a trick of words, but this is effectively where we get the idea and understanding that corporations are dead. The reason all corporations are dead is that the entire planet now operates on e-states, being the body corporates of testamentary trusts, uh, rather than living trusts. And because of that, the trust corpus, the property, uh, the body corporate, the corporation is dead. It's a dead body. Okay. Um, and we say that in 1276. Unlike persons formed through trust, a person formed through an estate, it's corporation or body corporate, is by definition a dead person possessing no life no right of argument, entirely subject to the execution of the will of the deceased testator. So this is perfect for them. For the Roman cult and its agents, perfect. You get rid of any problems with the grantor. The grantors are dead, so they're not going to argue. The body corporate's dead, so it can't argue. So if you're the executors and the administrators, <clears throat> providing you don't breach fiduciary duties, you've, you've basically got a system that can never break down. It runs in perpetuity. That's the beauty of estates, testamentary trusts. It's why they rolled out for the rest of the world. Now, <clears throat> given the time, I'm now going to move to SESTA-KV. 
As I mentioned, this is one of the two types under East States. And there's a lot more in those canons, but I, I urge you to read them separately. Uh, so I'm now going to go to Article 100 on Sester KV. Okay, this is Canon 1283 on Article 100, Sester KV Trust. A Sester KV Trust is a fictional concept first created during the reign of Charles II of England through the Sester KV Act of 1666. Interesting number, 1666. Now, for any of you that want to go and look at the history, you might find, in fact, uh, that there was a legend that this act, after it had been passed, the fires began burning in, in London. But there is no disputing that this act was passed on the day of the London fires. So <clears throat> this was uh, during the reign of Charles II of England uh, of 1666, wherein an estate may be affected for the benefit of a person presumed lost or abandoned at sea and therefore assumed dead after seven years. Statute limitations, seven years, sound familiar? It's been there for a long time. And before we move on, <clears throat> when uh, the Venetians convinced Henry to reject uh, the uh, Roman cult that was controlled by the Medicis, their arch enemies at the time, what happened to England in terms of the Holy See? Could one argue it was lost? Yes. Could one argue that Protestantism, in fact, uh, caused uh, to be lost at the sea, the spiritual sea, millions and millions and millions of souls? And of course, what is one of the things you can do when something is lost at sea under maritime law? It's called the law of salvage. Keep that in mind. Additional presumptions by which such a trust may be formed were added in later statutes to include bankrupts, minors, incompetents, mortgages and private companies. Hence, the Sessa KV Trust is a temporary testamentary trust. Now I'm going to keep going through this because this is vital. <clears throat> this is the, one of the single most important concepts of trust law that all on the call need to understand because it is against Sester KB trusts uh, presumed, created at your birth and presumed to remain in force that they are able to do what they do against you. Okay, Canon 1284. The original purpose and function of a Sester KV trust was to form a temporary estate for the benefit of another because some event, state of affairs or condition prevented them from claiming their status as living, competent and present before a competent authority. Therefore, any claims, history, statutes or arguments that deviate in terms of the original function of a Sester KV trust as pronounced uh, is false and automatically null and void. <clears throat> so the reason I add that at the end there uh, is, is simply that when you go and look at Black's Dictionary, or you look at any definition of Sester KV, they don't tell you what it is. They will not tell you what it is. So it makes it very hard for you to understand what they're doing if, if even their books won't tell you. Now I want you to keep in mind here that if their books of law don't tell you what it is. And lawyers are being taught by the same books. I can assure you that there is only one person ever in a court, except yourselves, that will ever know what a Sester KV is. And it is a judge. And everybody else will be in complete ignorance. Complete ignorance. And even then, some judges may not know. But if you ever face, and I hope you don't, but if ever you face a tribunal being a true court of three judges, certainly when it comes to superior courts, 
uh, I'm pretty confident you'll be dealing with people that understand. But they keep this hidden from their own, let alone from us. So if this sounds alien and you think this is nothing that I've heard of before, don't worry because this is knowledge that has been excluded. But if you want the proof, you can find the Sesaka the Act. It's a living act. They can't hide it. And one of their problems is if an act is alive, if an act is in force, they can't hide it. The same as Unum Sanctum. Unum Sanctum is an express, is a deed for an express trust. If the deed is lost or destroyed, the trust is lost and destroyed. That's the law. They can't hide it. So they can't hide the Sesta KV Trust. That's the, sorry, the Sesta KV Act. So you can go and read it and see it for yourself. And by the way, the ultimate morphing of Sesta KV became the Health and Vital Statistics Act. So 1285. A beneficiary under a state may be either a beneficiary or a Sesta KV Trust. Well, this is what we said before. <clears throat> Under an estate, you can be a, a beneficiary or they can create a Sesta KV trust uh, for you. When a beneficiary loses direct benefit, I'm still reading Canon 1285, when a beneficiary loses direct benefit of any property of the higher estate placed in Sesta KV trust on their behalf, they do not own the Sesta KV trust and are only the beneficiary of what the trustees of the Sesta KV Trust choose to provide them. This is crucial. You don't own the Sesta KV Trust. They do. They credit on your behalf. They own it. You don't. So to walk into a court and say, I am the beneficiary and trustee of the trust, and presumably until now you may not have known that it was a Sesta KV Trust, is absolutely wrong. And by saying something so wrong, you have already proved you're incompetent. And what do we say about Sesta KV Trust? They're created based on your incompetence. So if you go to court and prove you're incompetent, what have you just done? They can keep the Sesta KV in trust, uh, in, in place, and deny you your beneficial entitlements. 286. All Sesta KV Trusts are created on one or more presumptions based on its original purpose and function. Such a trust cannot be created if none of these presumptions can be uh, proven to exist. Originally they were created for property being lost and abandoned. Now, since the Uniform uh, um, um, Powers of Attorney Act and other, uh, their most powerful argument for continuing to maintain the Cestic AVs is not that you're a minor, it's not that you're lost, it's that you're incompetent. I have to say, sadly, that is the most compelling argument for why they deny uh, the um, stopping and, and dissolving of Sister KV. 1287. In accordance with the state law, the property held in deceased estate within the Sister KV Trust is called the Trust Corpus, body corporate or corporation, and possesses legal personality. However, as the estate is held in temporary, not permanent trust, the corporate person is entitled only to equitable title uh, and use of the property rather than legal title and therefore ownership of the, of the property. Now, uh, when they create one, uh, let's get down to, okay, 1291. As all Sister KV trusts are temporary testamentary trusts holding estate, a valid certificate or instrument is required to be issued for their birth, technically declaring the true beneficiary dead until their return. If a private company, it's a certificate of incorporation. Now, without any of you answering, uh, can you think of a document that is issued called a birth certificate? You heard of a birth certificate before? Well, what this just said is that that document, not only representing the birth of the Sesta KV, not the birth of you, it's got nothing to do with your birth, it's the birth of the Sesta KV, something they own, which you presume to use without any tacit permission by them. Well, assume position, uh, uh, permission, but you using their property. It's also a death certificate because they're claiming you're dead. 
את מה ש... 